Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther, and this is Subnautica Below Zero. So I could make lubricant, but I really need that rubber. Um, do I need? Oh, I could make those, and that would be really useful. But I really need this first. I have enough. those in there, toss that in there, toss that in there. <sighs> Should I... Oops, that was, okay, um, bug, animation for the first time you draw a, um, the survival knife is a little off. I can swim faster, but swimming faster is only a part of the game. I need to cut some creep vine. say that I actually kind of like that the first thing that you, uh, the first uh, problem you face is actually just a little thief. I'm okay with that. Excuse me. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, I can make a first aid kit. But no, I want to make... Bop, bop. This. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Oh. Fantastic.
New creature discovered. New creature discovered. Okay, so we're gonna spend the night uh, looking at blueprint, looking at blueprints. So, what do I need? Uh, I have that. I have that a compass. Might be okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, a flashlight might be really useful. Air bladder. You know, I don't think that's going to be as useful. I need this. I definitely need that. Computer chip, pipe, floating repair tool, sea glide, beacon marker, that's cool. Alright, um. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. In goes the battery and titanium, now comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. Yeah. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Okay. Geological data. Lime outcrop. These unusual geological structures are often formed around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct on this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the uh, metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism is unknown. Indigenous life forms. Herbivores. Sea monkey. A medium sized intelligent herbivore which shows great interest in other life forms and possessions. More research is needed to understand this life form and its behavior. Two finger like appendages on each forearm, which are tipped with suction pads for basic object manipulation. Its large um, turquoise crest is made of ridges bone that is probably used as a ram although this is not has not been observed sea monkeys roam the ocean mostly playful uh, largely fearless of predators uh, seen to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest for unknown purposes investigate with caution titan hole fish a large docile herbivore which emits oxygen and is defended by small aggressive symbiotes which accompany them. Slow, stupid, delicious. Oh, I can cook these. Complex gill lines the inside of the hole, drawing cold water in, emitting warm, oxygen-rich water in its place. Attracts symbiotes which make the whole fish their home and fiercely ward off any approaching life form. Okay, so that's what I see. Uh, uh, migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrient deposits by the symbionts. Okay, so they are actually a symbiotic relationship. One provides oxygen, one provides food. Uh, Titan whole fish has evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanics like speed, intelligence, or hunting. It exists in a semi-permanent state of un 
reflexive calm. Swimming forward on impulse, full, uh, fully thrusting the complex ecosystem, trusting the complex ecosystem which supports it. Um, valuable oxen shores if you can reach it. Uh, bladderfish, good old bladderfish. Oh, and the old uh, model of it too. I see no reason why to re uh, to not reuse it. Bladderfish, this unusual herbivore seems to be mostly defenseless. Bears little resemblance to the other life forms around it. Semi-permeable bladder. Uh, the bladderfish is able to filter water, uh, filter air and seawater into its body cavity uh, through a unique membrane which surrounds its spine like a bladder. This allows it to remove and consume organic particulates uh, caught on the way and adjust its buoyancy. Open end. Oh, it must be stormy outside. Uh, Visicular tubing. It can be angled and constricted to pump out water and achieve low viscosity. Oh, velocity guided propulsion. Oh, okay. Basically, these things it squeezes to move quicker. Um, largely oblivious to threats, particularly immobile at night, though its identified defense mechanism is that it composed entirely of water, air, and cartilage, i.e. it's not very nutritious. Edible. Oxygen may be retrieved from the bladder and added to tanks on consumption. Okay. Membrane is uh, can be filtered. It's more valuable to me as a, a water source. Boomerang, herbivore, large numbers, serrated teeth, grinding corals and herbivore blah. The other herbivores are unable to digest. Usual twin fin, um, less prone to damage and provide superior propulsion, but they're also harder to grow back. Um, the bright blue tips are in fact ends of a digestive tract. Uh, where luminescence of the coral consumes at the most focused. Um, most active during day -night, uh, daylight hours, and prone to flee on approach. The boomerang is more easily observed at night, where its luminescence gives it away and seeks shelter of the seabed. Hoopfish. Small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion. Um, the antenna, rather than swimming, the, the life, this life form uses a green antenna encircling its body to alter its uh, composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into the lower dense space created. Blue-green colorization may be a camouflage adaptation for mid-light uh, wavelengths, possibly inducing uh, the hoopla fish active at, uh, in in inciting that it's active during dawn and dusk. Behavior. Cool. Okay, it is daytime. Oxygen.
I don't have any way to build a base yet. And I think I need to get that um, cache in order to do that. is a personal transportation device used for high-speed free diving. Contains a built-in light and map. Oxygen. <sighs> it's going to be a while before I, like, can get over that. And I don't think I'll ever really get over it. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Sea Clyde is a person. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. 
Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. I don't need to see that bacon anymore. Um. I'm very glad I'm only doing four of these a, a week. I I don't think my heart could take a full seven. Huh. Oxygen. So hate that. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oxygen. Okay. Um, well, holy crap.
Yeah, filled up the filled up the thing. Okay. Well, it is nighttime out, so more reading. Coral table coral. Each disc is an individual colony of microorganisms filtering nutrition from the water. Growth pattern indicates the colonies are in direct competition for positions with superior uh, current or light. Unlike other coral species, its structure is malleable, softly pulsing as it pumps nutrients to its extremities, uh, only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. Jewel-like nodes in the surface are concrete buildups of rare uh, minerals the coral is unable to process. Exploitable in microchip fabrication. The brine wing, a medium-sized predator known for spitting super cooled salt water to freeze its prey from afar. A large bladder on the brine wing's underside fills with salt water as it swims. Some water is filtered out uh, through internal membrane, leaving behind a strong saline solution. Two flat transpa uh, transparent extendable fins act as radiators releasing heat and cooling the bladder's contents. The brine wing can contain, uh, then can contract this bladder, expelling the super cooled brine, freezing the salt water up to several meters away. While warm bloody, uh, warm bloodied, warm blooded life forms may suffer minor injuries on contact with the brine. It is not cold enough to freeze most uh, vertebrates. The real danger is being helplessly encased in a block of ice and sinking ever closer towards the brine wing's jaws. Beware of a full bladder. Symbiote. A small, fast predator, which nests inside the hole of a titan hole fish, defends them at all costs. Uh, symbiotes feed mostly on overconfident predators which attack the titan hole fish. Expanding Expending huge energy reserves to move quickly and strike their targets, the symbiote is dependent on receiving additional warmth and oxygen from the titan hole fish. Symbiotes lay eggs inside the gills of the titan hole fish. Waste behind is absorbed by the titan hole fish, uh, uh, consenting all their chance it needs to survive. Catch or neutralize to approach the hole fish. Flora. Exploitable. Creep vine. A kelp species concentrated in large forests in shallow, sh shady waters. Loose roots anchor the plant to the seafloor from which it grows steadily towards the surface. Pursuit in pursuit of sunlight. Oh. The stem is fibrous and rich in iron making it both um, valuable building material for fabrication of textures as well as basic foodstuffs. Creepvine seeds. Mature creepvine plants that have survived uh, predation of small herbivores produce these bioluminescent seed color, uh, cl clusters which may be knocked loose by currents or by uh, more consumed and later deposited by predators. Uh, the embryo is surrounded by a thick oil and silicone layer which would disperse into the ground as the outer skin deteriorated. This may provide the seedling with nutrients it needs to survive the low light conditions of the seabed. Okay. Um, bull asai shroom are harvestable fungi found in da, 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 noteworthy for their thick meaty caps um, these caps manage to produce a small amount of chlorophyll which makes it um, capable of photosynthesis 
but the mushroom gets uh, still gets most of its nutrients from dead matter on the sea floor. Harvestable, plantable. Coral bridges are formed by rapidly growing coral polyps that exhibit thermothist, which causes growth in response to stimuli or when touched by solid object. The coral bridges grow in a thick, twisted pattern that anchor onto rocks and other coral. The undersea side is covered in colonies of blue barnacles. Well, it is daytime again. So, that's it for this episode, folks. I will catch you all in the next one, where I... Hmm. I don't know where I want to go. <laughs> um, so, I'll just pick a direction and explore that way. So... Um, until next time, have fun, be safe, and aloha.